Kailasa should have deities first. Second, large number of sannyasis. Krama. Krama brahmacharis who want to take up this lifestyle and maintain the temple, maintain the Kailasa ecosystem, who start manifesting powers, teaching, guiding people into manifesting powers, making people understand the importance of enlightenment and introducing Hinduism. Understand? The whole ecosystem necessary for this We should start focusing and manifesting it in every city where at least 10,000 Hindus are living. And a large library. Still Hinduism is in books. It has not yet come to the digital world. Still Hinduism is living in books especially in home libraries. Still, we have not left the habit of reading books and learning Hinduism. So, as long as that reading books and learning Hinduism is there for Hindus, we should keep a huge library. Digitizing we will continue to do, but the huge library, physical library, is required Library with the ambience maintained by the Bansan and Noble. How they have a very happy ambience for people to hang out, read. You can sip a cup of coffee and hang out with your friends. That kind of an ambience, library. And if possible, a large Goshala and Annalaya. Actually, all of them are interconnected. Temple Adinam, where the sannyasis start living and teaching, growing together. And Goshala and Annalaya, where the organically cows are maintained, food is grown and shared freely. Never in our temples food can be sold. No. It should be absolute free. Large level of Goshala and Annalaya. Temple with large size deities. Power manifestation, signs and enlightenment signs taught by committed large number of sannyasis day in and day out. A large size Goshala and Annalaya. Large size library with ambience similar to Bansan and Noble. Fifth, last but not least, at least few thousand families of devotees settled around the temple. This is a complete Kailasa ecosystem. So, anybody comes there, <clears throat> whether 7-year-old kid or 70-year-old man, he is given everything related to Hinduism and Hinduism becomes just just such a happy living lifestyle. These ecosystems all over the world 
will keep this whole enlightenment science alive shri kailasa alive everywhere the local temples ashrams adinams universities goshalas should start expanding and start adopting the best practices of sanatana hindu dharma should start evolving more and more local governing bodies 